It's time for Greg Mail. The address is gregmail at foxnews.com. I read, he answers, that we all dance in an awkward circle. Here we go. All right, Walter leads things off. Which Republican candidate do you think is the most persuasively correct? Mm, he's obviously referring to my book, How to Be uh, Right or How to right. Be Persuasively Correct. I would say off the top of my head, without thinking, I would say Chris Christie and Marco Rubio. And it'd be like if they ran together, it would be like uh, it would be like the number 10. Because you'd have Marco Rubio is skinny and you'd have a, a oh, little. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh. And they both they're both complement each other. Tough on national security and very, very articulate. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. What? what about Ted Cruz? Ted Cruz naming the five problems with the debate in perfect consecutive order uh, in little sound bites. And then, boom, he's nailing right. the guy. He, 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 there's something op opportunistic about him. I got to move okay. on. OK, uh, this one's from Paul Kendrick. I don't watch your show because of your dazzling political insights. Frankly, I find that boring. Mm. I tune in because I'm absolutely smitten with cats. <laughs> Been out of the dating scene for years, so do you have any substantive suggestions that would culminate in an opportunity for me to get my mittens on this kitten? Oh, God. All right, so A, we know that Cat put that letter in there for a reason. <laughs> and, but number two, anybody that writes in to ask for a date probably hasn't bathed in a while. Yeah. So I'm going to send you, Paul, her direct phone number no. and her home address. I don't want his mittens <laughs> on my kitten. <laughs> yes, that's, I think that's I think it's poetry. Ugh. He's a poet. Sexual harass poetry. All right, we got to go. Okay. All right, that's it for this show. Thank you, Gavin. As always, Gabriella Bloom scares the heck out of me. Ambassador John Bolton, sexy as ever. Senator Lindsey Graham, probably on his third wine. John DeVore, Joanne, Catherine. I'm Greg Gutfeld, and I love you.